way. <laughs> I've got the high vis just in case. <laughs> Here we go for another episode of Simon Says. We're in another bus. This one is a 2005 Volvo chassis, right bus, open topper, ex London. And then, as you know, most of them start as normal buses. <laughs> and uh, it's just Dine's recovery there, the bus specialist. Uh, yeah, most of them start as normal buses and then they get chopped for various reasons. Have an accident or it's an older bus or whatever. And then this went to Bournemouth Yellow Buses and unfortunately they went into liquidation on their 120th year. Sh sh yeah, sad for them. Uh, and then it got bought by Ensign Bus. We've just picked this up from Ensign Bus and now it's going back to Drift Limits uh, which are Hemel Hempstead, Bovingdon, Tring, Direction, the A41. We'll put a link to them. They are using it, they've bought it. They're gonna use it as a viewing platform, VIP area at their track days. And if you don't know about them, it's worth checking them out. I've been there a couple of times, I love it. You get to drive various cars around their track and they don't make you hold back you can give them hell to an extent as an instructor with you um, where they knew I had a bus license a colleague of mine now works there they said can you drive this back I'm more than happy to so it's a double decker as I said first time I managed to get our hands on one of those 2005 Volvo it's quieter and a bit more refined than my Dennis Dart that I used to have different sort of uh, job so this is well it's a bus but this just has more of a tough feeling to it this is a newer generation of vehicle it's got the Volvo dials steering wheel that you'd see in a Volvo HGV that sort of thing uh, this cost a hell of a lot of money I'd imagine new newer than a Dennis would cost I think Right Bus are a Northern Irish company, so the body's made there. British company, they do very well, they export all around the world. And yeah, it's nice to drive one of them. It feels solid, this thing. And as you can tell, it's not rattling as much as my uh, Dennis Dart did. Not that that's anything wrong with the Dennis, but it's an older bus, so it's had a hard life. This one, 503,000 miles on the clock. And we don't know yet what the speed limit is set to, so we'll find that out. But it hasn't driven very far for the last few months. Uh, we're driving on trade plates, insured, back to Johnny's drift limits. So we're gonna keep the speed down. Um, it's all in top condition though. Ensign bus have made sure that we'll get home without a problem. Oh yeah, join us on the journey. It's fun. Here we go again. Seems to be holding air nicely. We've got a coolant warning light on the dash, but the temperature's all right, and we've just filled it up. And they did it inside bus. We've got some extras with us if we need it. Hopefully we don't. We'll just keep an eye on that, keep it steady. Don't want to push her too hard. We'll get back all right. They don't like sitting around for a long time. And as you've heard me say before, buses have got quite complicated electrics. That's part of the reason I got rid of mine. It scared me a bit. Um, lorries are more simple, I think, anyway. So it might be that we drive it along and as this more charge comes back into the battery, these electrical issues disappear, which is quite often the case with vehicles in general. 
being an ex-London bus, it would have had two doors in it, but they uh, put a blanking panel in at Ensign Bus, and they had extra seats installed downstairs. Um, this, when it came out of London, then went to Bournemouth, but the seats had gone again, so maybe that's just a luggage area or something, I'm not sure, because most people have sat upstairs on this open top. problems at all. Feels fairly solid. Motorsport Academy. There we go. Got the brake better this time. Oh, it's a bit jumpy on there. And welcome towards its new home. We're going to a live track. <laughs> okay, film this. 